Darren just first of all reflected on the game the other day, brilliant result. How's the reaction been following that with the boys in training? What's the mood been like? Obviously a result like that lifts the mood, doesn't it? Gives gives us confidence and belief. Um I thought I thought it was a, a good performance. I do honestly believe we've we've played better um in terms of the, the sort of passing and being in control of the game. But having said that, the type of game it was, you know, credit to File, they're they're a team that wants to play and handle the ball like we do. So it made it a bit more of a an open game that allowed us to counter attack um and use different attributes that we have. A lot of the time we play up against teams that just sit in and, and become difficult to break down. So the fact that it was a bit more of an open game um, obviously contributed to us getting one or two goals. Um, I expect a, a different type of game tomorrow, to be honest. Um, obviously, they're Dagenham on a brilliant run. Um, ten unbeaten, I believe. Um, and that enough alone tells you that it's going to be a hard game because they're, they're, they're hard to beat and hard to break down. So... I expect a, a different type of game. Um, I want us to get back on to handling the ball and creating chances and, and getting control of the game. Um, but, you know, we, we, we take a lot of confidence from, from Tuesday night and, and for me, for the game last Saturday against Solihull. So. Was it refreshing to see your side being so clinical in front of goal and not only taking the chances, but they came from all angles. You had four different goals scoring and you scored from two set pieces. That must be only positive going into this one. Yeah, it's it's usually positive because I always feel like our games are on a bit of a knife edge all the time. And there's a, there's only ever one or two goals in it, which which always makes you feel like the game could change in any moment. But you know, thankfully we went we went in one nil at half time and and sort of just built on that. Um, I thought File did okay on the day still. You know, I know they'd, they'd, they'll be disappointed with the scoreline, of course, but I still think they created one or two chances that, you know, we've we've spoke about today because although we kept a clean sheet, uh, we, we still could have, in moments, defended better as a team, not just defensively. Um, but the confidence and you, you take from scoring four, four goals on the road and four different scorers, great to see... The, Ricardo and, and, and obviously Mauro get a goal as well. Um, it's great to have Mazza back. He's a great character on and off the pitch. And <clears throat> at the moment, obviously playing slightly out of position, but he's a good footballer. So he, he can he can play anywhere. I ask him, and he's he's that type of lad as well. So no, great confidence from the result, but without getting carried away. How big of a statement could a win tomorrow be? We're going to three massive games now against teams that will all be up there compete for the playoffs. Do you feel this could really be a statement if we pick up three points tomorrow? Yeah, I mean, there's three, three crucial games. You know, we, you know we, included, we included Tuesday night in that as well. You know, you know on, the back of, on the back of a couple of disappointing performances and results, we then went into a difficult game against Solio mm -hmm. and played well and obviously frustrated not to win the game. And then we backed that up on Tuesday. Mm -hmm. And that gives us another little step in the right direction for the for the three games coming up. Um, you know, these three teams have started well and rightly in and around the top of the league because of their form. So we know we have to be on our game. And, you know, I don't want to keep harping back to the two performances, but all barring them two, we've been good. So we need to continue that. The confidence will be very good after Tuesday but we need to be focused because it's, this league can very easily trip you up as, as proven already so we're going into the game not overconfident but very focused You talk about the response from those two disappointing performances how big a part do you feel the role of Dan Sweeney has played he's come back in he's kept two clean sheets and he sort of brought that maturity to the back line in there Listen it's I know I've got three good centre halves, so it's allowed me to to change the shape and get two up top, and you know. But my beliefs in 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 football don't change, irrespective of formations. You know, I want us to pass the ball, I want us to control the game and create chances, and and ultimately take them. Um, and what Sweeney brings is the big, powerful boy. You know, gets hold of the game when he needs to. Uh, he's he's vocal. Um, takes a lot of pressure off one or two of people around him because he's a, he's a real presence for us. And for him to come back, 
having not played this season and put in two performance that he has already, mm. you know, it's credit to him. Like he's a he's a great lad, mm. and he's been he has been sorely missed. Although we've started the season okay, he has been sorely missed, and we're certainly better for having him available. And just finally, we introduced David Tonda. He had a brief cameo the other night. Has he come through the game okay? Yeah, he's fine. He was. Uh, it was nice to be able to give him them 10, 15 minutes at the end. He's, he's still, there's still a period of time before he would say that he's fully up and running. But he's certainly trained now for a week or so and, and then 10 minutes will give him confidence because you know, you're never quite sure when you come back from muscle injuries. You're obviously a bit tentative when you're going back into training in the games. But it'll be, it'll be better for them 10, 15 minutes. And he's a great lad, great character to have around the place. So it's nice to have him back on the training pitch. Gary, obviously break the news about two players that have left the club. Just what are your thoughts on that? Um, they're both terrific lads. You know, terrific lads. Ain't, ain't give me a minute's problem. Um, so in, in that respect, you know, it's, uh, I'm, I'm pleased that you know, they're going to get an opportunity to go and play now. I couldn't guarantee either of them any football. Um, Mo just never really got going from, you know, he had a, a, a one or two games when John first brought him in and I just couldn't find a spot for him in, in my plans that would allow him to play any football. He had a couple of loan deals that weren't particularly successful and, you know, it just got to the point where he needed to move on and, and restart his career. So, but... He's a good lad and I wish him well, hope it goes well for him. And the same for Jack, to be fair to Jack, you know, he's been chomping at the bit all the time, um, constantly knocking on my door for opportunities. Um, you know, but these boys, they get a chance every day. I know people talk about, I need a chance, but they get a chance every day in training. Every every single day you've got a ball at your feet. So there's your chance and it hasn't quite, either of them haven't quite done enough to warrant an opportunity and, 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 and pin down a place in the team. But what they both are is good lads who just want to play football. So I'm happy to allow them to go out and play football. Mo obviously moves on permanently and Jack will go um, on loan now for the season. But, you know, if, if, if it's going well and we need to call him back, there's a, there's a call back in there. But certainly it's an opportunity to, for him to go and play now, which he, which he deserves because he's a good kid.